sketchbook exercise. And this is a fun one that I like to do. It is sketching with your dominant, I'm right-handed, and now I'm dominant, my left hand, hands. And picking a basic object and then we're gonna add a little bit of color. I have picked the Daler and Rowney F&W acrylic inks. This one has uh, got a little green on it. <laughs> Uh, these are a lot of fun because they can go on like watercolor, but they are permanent once dry. And then all you need is your sketchbook, a paintbrush, a pencil, and some water. And we're gonna get started. Oh, you do need something to draw. And pick something fairly basic. I'm gonna draw this tube of golden acrylic paint. And I'm gonna start by kind of just placing that and then taking a minute to look at it this is not gonna be like a photorealistic drawing. That's not the goal. It's just a sketch. So we want to just practice kind of flipping back and forth and finding our own sketch style with each of our hands. Um, I think a lot of the time you get used to doing things a certain way and it's good for you and your brain to switch things up. So let's get started. Um, I like to start when I'm sketching with the little things first and then connect from there. So I started with the lid here and there's a nice texture on that lid and then it kind of bows out and there's like this faux line here where the paint tube starts and we have a long body and it kind of bows out again at this end. There's another kind of faux line there. And I will probably sketch in some of the graphics. One of the things I like to do when I'm sketching is kind of add the extra like letters or textures um, or anything else that I just think is fun and add a little character to the sketch so I kind of put in the golden word there and this is black back here so we'll just kind of sketch around it a little bit have a little texture and then artist color so as you can see this is upside down for me but I just flipped it around sometimes I'll try and draw and write upside down um, apparently I wasn't feeling it today <laughs> And everything doesn't have to be legible. Like this can just represent text, the little scribbles. So there's my sketch and maybe just a little establishing line that it's on the ground. There's my sketch with my right hand. So now I'm gonna sketch with my left hand. Give yourself a minute here and figure out how you even wanna hold the pencil. If you don't sketch with both of your hands a lot, it's gonna feel really awkward, but just kind of push yourself through it. And I'm actually like, and give in to whatever feels right. Because right now, I want to draw the tube head this way, which is actually the way I'm looking at it. For some reason, I realized I flipped it completely around when I did my right-handed sketch. So again, just a quick representation. bows out there. There's that kind of faux line in there. Oh, the type. <laughs> That's okay. This is about kind of exploring. And I am drawing it upside down this time. I like drawing things upside down as well because it kind of forces you to just pay attention to the shape rather than exactly what's happening. Yeah, writing with my non-dominant hand and upside down and backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's a little crazy. I would uh, suggest you should try and pick something with some letters on it. It's actually kind of
kind of challenging. Here's my kind of like faux type. My little tester swatch, you can see right there. And there we go, right hand, left hand, and we're gonna add a little color. Our goal with the color here is just to have a little fun. So I'm gonna put some color right out of the bottle first, and then I'm gonna spread it around. And this is really bright yellow. And it's really not about painting this to look like that. This is just about kind of expressive play with color. And it goes nice with sketches sometimes, just to kind of allow color to mix together. I'm gonna put some water. Add some splotches of color. Them spread a little bit. And that is the end of our exercise. You might want to go in once this dries a little bit with a pen if you feel like it. If you just kind of want to push your drawing a little bit further, um, don't feel like you have to sketch over everything. You can go in like back here, oh, back here where it's black and just add a little contrast. Maybe do it a little differently on this one. And I am back to my right hand for both and that's okay. This is kind of your sketchbook practice, so make it what you want it to be. So add a little pen, have some fun, play with color, and kind of continue to push yourself in your sketchbook and play. Join my Facebook group if you get a sec. Uh, I'll be posting updates and comments and kind of sneak peeks for things coming up there. That's Creative and Caffeinated. There's a link down below. And I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.